Very excited to announce will be playable as an assassin. In addition to the ranks of brawlers in Heroes of the Storm, known as Admiral Proudmoore. <laughs> oh, narcissism at its best. 200 pinger, but I don't think it's going to matter in an auto battle, at least. Not too much. Uh, I see. Razor Main. Deep Dweller. So it's water. Water. Mass water again. Mass fire. Salamander build. Regenerates health for each unit with fire defense. So you get fire and fire. How long have we got? 30 seconds. How much can I choose? I'm not sure. Got six gold, one essence. Taking damage from behind. No, we don't care about that. Shaman. Let's go with the uh, Schlemiander. And this guy's got fire defense, so we'll get him. Got the Salamander and the Boiling Raj. I haven't actually spent the essence though. PVE, so someone didn't pick quickly enough, is that what it is? It picked for them. Oh, unless it's PVE stages now actually, because it's always been PvP. Interesting. I've got two fire attacks, one earth and defense. And it's for each point of fire. Now, we've got our characters over here. You've got fire there. And this guy's got earth, isn't he? Oh, there's an earth. It's fire damage. Fire damage. Fire armor. Earth armor. She can apply a debuff. Not sure. This guy or this one. Minus two resistance, though. What's that all about? I think I can probably only afford her anyway, because it was free gold. I'm not sure how much a tier two costs. Converts gold into essence. Spends gold to increase food limit. Got boss levels as well. Okay, that's interesting. Inflicts fire damage every time unit takes damage. Oh no, my harp is gonna lose. No. It's gonna ruin my streak. Six gold. We got earth attack. Normal attack. Doesn't look like there's anything good on this one. You can take this guy just because he's got the same attack as the Harpy. So you can kind of group up on that. If those actually do stack. Self inflicts 10% of max health as darkness damage every second. I might just get this guy to tank. Oh, that's great. He kills me and then leaves. Couldn't he have left before? All the Dark Souls boss kills. I won't have playthrough, but I'll have the kills and the bosses. That'll go onto YouTube eventually. I'm just stacking it all up. I've got like an hour and 20 minutes of bosses. But I'm not going to put it up until I've kind of finished. And that's going to still take ages. Doesn't look like I'm going too well here, does it? Hmm. What am I missing then? Some types of elements, three and five, provide fighters with group bonuses. I'm not really getting the same fighters though. I'm getting a lot of weird stuff, so I almost have to deliberately lose and save up gold. Because it's just not happening, is it? Like here, I just feel like none of this serves my purpose. Let's 
So what's the point? You can re-roll, but I can just deliberately lose another level and then uh, hopefully have a more expensive one to buy. Because that's nine gold there. If I have a good one that shares the same traits. Here's the item shop. Five extra attack speed with each attack. Stacks up to ten times. Oh, that's BS. That's anti-fire. Sea dragon. Whoa. Snappers, what the hell? Keep going. Get him down. No, don't you dare. Oh, come on. Even when you think you're going to win. <laughs> it's still so brutal. Okay. Well, it's another salamander and that. It's free gold and free gold, so I can do that. I got food, though, so I don't know if I can actually buy those. Like if I buy it. Oh, you can only buy one. Hmm. Alright, we've got a combo there. Spends nine gold to increase food limit, so I guess I should do that. Because I think you get a debuff if you are over the food limit. That style I got a value of 10. Just gonna buff one of these. Better than nothing. That's PBE. I think he made Gollum less tanky, but... I'm running out of time. Oh dear. It's game over, isn't it? I can't seem to... Did fire get nerfed into the ground or something? Because it certainly seems to suck. But what do you do if they're water defense and you've built fire? Doesn't that just kind of kill you? Because now you're off to an even worse start. Why aren't the bosses just take full damage from all types? So if random built against water, then he doesn't have to change his composition whatsoever. And he has a very easy time, whereas I've got to sell all my towers to rebuild a different situation just because I'm against a water tower boss at the start. That seems not good. I don't think the first two bosses should be any armor type. They should just be composite then. Yeah, of course. Because a game like this is more important to get off to a good start. No, I still disagree, because it just forces you to build a certain way.
No offense, Stylo, but this is why you struggle a bit with balance. It's because you don't really listen. You just keep coming up for excuses as to why it's perfectly fine. Good day, Joyful, and chat WTIIHI 25 months of Joyful subscription. How will the text to speech translate Joyful today, I wonder? How are you doing today, Joyful? Are you winning, Joyful? Has anyone pinched your chip, Joyful? All hail Joyful, our Lord and Savior. Three cheers for Joyful. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. I didn't catch that, Flynn. What did you say? The armor now. Earth. Players don't have options though. The first boss is water, because then that reduces their options. They go, oh well, there's no point in building fire then. So then you have like eight people that aren't actively picking fire. So there's more people with the same units. Wonder Remy's losing. Even I can kill this. <laughs> Satisfied customer. Give you something to do. Thank you very much, Stand. I shall have something to do. More than I did before now, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we've lost some players. Hey. What's the matter, Remy? Why didn't you like it? I'm not sure if it's fluffy enough. Like, the design and all of that is really hard made and Stylo's done very good on that but I'm not sure if it's fun what do you think is it fun it needs to be more fluffy it's kind of got like a Nick vibe to it a little bit where he sometimes takes his maps way too seriously and it loses the sort of jank The rounds need to be way quicker, yeah. is the prime removing the fun out of the map. Why is it always dark? That's also depressing. So I can kill. Oh. 
I'd almost prefer a PvE only version of this map. I think it's important to have a PvP version for those that want it though. But like Holy War. You saying harpies are OP? Gotta mess them up. I think I want a Doom Guard. But I don't want to sell anything. Unless I sell those. How much should I get back? Doesn't tell me. Tier 1, I guess, is free gold, so it won't be enough. Well. Yeah, actually, it will. PVE mode and first to wave 30. That sounds fun. Like, you can have the PvP version of it. The only problem is, is it's just one of those games where, like, more people are going to lose and be angry than people who are going to be happy. In the inherent design, you know? Like, who's really going to be happy in this? Only the people that are, like, the top three of the scoreboard. At best. Maybe even top two. But everyone else is just going to be, like, having a miserable time. Waiting for it to be over. Because you can't do anything other than just wait like a minute for each round to go by and then eventually lose and then be like, oh, I guess I've got another minute to wait until I can lose again. You don't have enough control over your fate. Go get him. That's me over here. Let's kill him. Oh, he got wrecked. That's right. Fire's starting to stack now. You need a way to help the people at the bottom, but without them getting overpowered. I think the best way to do it is possibly just give them an extra one or two gold. Sort of thing. However much gold that is needed to be. So they can still sort of get back in. Yeah, yeah, you get more gold, but do you get enough gold? I know you do. But is it enough? If it's just like one gold, whilst the person who's winning is getting like ten gold equivalent for winning. It's just like, well, yeah, you, okay, cool. That one gold's going to go far. I'm coming for you, random. Where's random? Let me kill random. Another. F See, as soon as he started losing, he left, didn't he? He was in the game the whole time, 
It's one of those maps that just kind of does that. I'm not saying it's Stylo's fault. I think he's put a lot of work and effort into the map. I'm just saying it's fundamentally flawed from that basis. He was near the top. He was on the second of the scoreboard, like, the whole time. And then he just starts having some bad levels where he's, like, consistently losing. And he's just like, well, there's no point now. I know that. I can see that. It's just a hard type of map to have people satisfied. If there's ranking and stuff like that, then people are more inclined to play it. Do you see what I mean? It's just like melee. Why would someone do one versus one, for example, if they're not going to get some sort of ranking or reward for it? Because it's very stressful otherwise, and there's a good chance you can lose. That's why I think teamfight tactics and that did pretty well for the most part, because there was like an addictive value. If you lost, you felt like you wanted to get revenge and sort of get a better game next time. It's kind of like how most games go. League of Legends, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be a teamfight tactics or something. It's just like, right, next game I'm gonna like, I'm gonna build this hero, I'm gonna just absolutely destroy them or whatever. What's this? What truth? Can someone shut around and pick up? I'm so sick of that guy. I guess I'll buy some food for that plus one income. Or I can have a scorpion for the armor type. But then that's going to put my food up even higher, so it's ridiculous. So you're not really getting essence now over time. You have to actively use gold to get essence. So there's not much incentive to... You can only spend six gold, which is quite a lot, to then buff up a unit by a very small margin. That sort of thing only works if you can triple the unit into one unit to make it a big unit. So then it's more worth actually upgrading it. Otherwise you're better off just probably building more units. Can I kill this? I smell magic. So he buffed his own resistance there, but then it got knocked down by the harpies. Oh no. Almost. Yeah, I definitely think bosses should probably just be neutral. Just make them tough, but make them neutral in armor and attack. Like 100% from all sources. Essence is worth six gold. Hello, Clamos. There you go, a composite boss. I can take soap. Look at that. 
Only forty percent on fire. Easy. So is the PvP the one on the right and PvE is on the left? But I lost versus a boss. Maybe that's defend and that's attack or something. Ah. Ah. Yes. Hopefully random gets his ass kicked and then I can just hurry up and win this. And claim my destiny. Ah, you ignorant slaves. <laughs> ah. Stylo boy, splitting it up. It's a bold move. That's probably worked against you. The shaman is undefended. I'll be playing Test of Faith. Not if I can help it. It's not a haircut. It's just me putting my hair up. <laughs> yes. I wonder whether to get rid of these. Probably doesn't even do that much damage anymore. Fire. Du -du -du. Fire. I'm gonna get some more Murlocs up in here. He's got big damage. Kill him, Soap. Oh good, I get to kill Rana. It's about time. Get out of here, Rana. Filthy scrub. could has I'd say this guy is not so important anymore but free is nice uh, you could get rid of that one ah oh. yeah we've got to get him over What the hell, Overclock? That's so rude. Are you gonna stand for that, Styler? Oh, I get to kill Random again. So satisfactory. Two opportunities. It was pleasurable enough the first time, now it's gonna be extremely pleasurable this time. Random will leave in a moment.
filthy scrub. Third harpy of the day. Machoin. If you're clicking on her enough time, you get enough jiggle. It's extra jiggle. That's a pro tip for you guys playing Warcraft 3, if you ever get the chance. You're welcome. That's some life advice that will take you far. <laughs> I'm all geared up. Hello there, Simon. Okay, is this going to be one of those bosses that gets really strong in a moment? We have got really good DPS and his resistance is low. Good. Actually managed to kill one. It didn't go as well over there. Random's gonna fluke. Stylo's possibly gonna go. Yeah, most likely. It's all falling apart for safe. How come my message didn't go through? Is it only all chat? There we go. Ah, I don't want anything. Unless I want to start building something else, just to make sure I've got a good mix. Could get this boy, and then sell the scorpion. That would be acceptable. Because that replaces, but continues to keep the earth, and then pushes the fire. I mean, uh, darkness. And darkness sometimes uses um, other things that I might want. Is there a way to tell how much food a player has? I see. Let's go, Soap. Guess it's time in the sun. That's a pretty beefy stun. I'm running a mock over here as well. Starlight's going to be out soon. Yeah, that's the opposite though, terrific. Macro is controlling a lot at the same time. Micro is more focused on individual actions, specific actions. But I could see RTS being a bit more like Dota in a way, where you would sort of like build structures that would then automatically build units. And then you concentrate on like a hero unit. So it's almost like a controlled version of Dota. One on one. So a castle fight, but you have a hero to control. I think there was a map like that. War of Races or something like that. Similar. 
but yeah, future RTS might look more like that. Because these days, yeah, people don't really want to play. That's why I said StarCraft 2. It's, it's the hardest, I think. There's too much to control and do on StarCraft 2. Just, like, imagine having to do... I could do that on, like, for one or two games. But then if I had to do that, like, every game competitively, I would just drain so much energy. so frustrating because if you just don't pay attention to one little thing that's going on on the map you might miss a, a medivac that's carrying a whole bunch of marines that are going to drop and destroy your minerals and stuff like that you know your mineral workers just one little misclick or not even misclick it's just one little miss not paying attention to everything that can be happening all at the same time it's stressful you brought me back you brought me back I think I'm going to get this one. I'm going to try going into this. I'm going to get some different type of units. Really screen dealing down. Oh, there's some mutant enemies. So you want to closer to the front then. You call to me. the Doom Boys. Yeah, the early days of StarCraft 2 were a bit more um, realistic to deal with because units could only move so fast and be in so many places and stuff like that. But as the game sort of progressed, things had to get faster and more chaotic. So it makes for a pretty good viewing experience, but as a player, it's like, ugh. Soaker's giving me a run for for my money there. He's he got a fair bit of control going on. Oh no, here come the roaches. Is this the comeback? Has Soap done it? Oh, Stylo's out. See you later, Stylo. Kicked you out your own map. We've got enough RPs. Queen of the RPs. Queen of the RPs. You I might lose the next fight. Because I am... Um, I don't want to buy any of this stuff, really. So I'm going to push food. And get the income from that. Two more composite attacks. Mm. Okay, I'll get another harpy then. I can always sell her because we got the food set up. So you could always just do that anyway and then sell her next round. Kablamo. Still not as overpowered as when uh, I think Overclocked was massing those salamanders. <laughs> he just built like nothing but salamanders. And the boiling rages. Ooh. It's a little bit different. I don't have water. I can get one water and a water. I don't have any water attack. I'm not too interested though. I can skip a level. I'm not co too convinced.
random behave yourself. So rude. Disrespecting the map maker. Extra damage from fire. Looks good for me. Oh wait, he does extra damage to fire. Wait, no, from fire. Okay, no, we're good. Second guess myself. Yeah, he's going down quick. Should get like bonus point for killing them quicker. But then again, it'll just be like rich get richer. If there was like some sort of not completely useless, but at least semi-useful resource you could get for like being the first. That way you don't snowball too hard, but you're still getting kind of rewarded. If it like gave like plus 10 health or something to a random mob. Or like a little, um, dropped a little plus 10 health that you could then put your inventory and click it on a mob. Plus 5 health, whatever it needs to be. Should have built fire, boys. <coughs> I'll deal with you in a second. Okay. Is this my final Nurlock? I was going to maybe try this guy. Though. He's got the fire in his belly. I'm gonna try this one. Let's kill Jaden, after all. Uh, oh, I can't scroll all the way to the top. But I'm pretty sure Random was having a go at me. When I was complaining about the armor types for the buses earlier. <laughs> Rami's day's being ruined. I told you, a map like this can kind of make you feel kind of miserable if you're losing it. But then Sonic's like fun if you're winning it. Soap is going to kill me, I reckon. I feel like he's gonna he's gonna get almost he's gonna get down to like one life and then his army's just gonna get perfectly designed to kill my army. And then I'm just gonna slowly fall and lose to him every single time. I can I, I swear I smell it, I can smell it happening. To be fair, I haven't mashed just one type. I've got Empowered Composite. I'm trying to get Light and Earth built up as well. And I've got multiple different armor types too. Queen of the RPs. Oh, there's two of them now. Yep, Soap's gonna do it. This is the beginning of Soap's journey to victory. Look at all that stun. Like an elephant as well. Doom Guard, go! Oh, come on, Doomy! One literally is just swinging. That's BS. I wouldn't mind the elephant, but at the same time, if I've got another Doom Guard, I'm definitely getting that because they're good. Dead chance they are.
They only reset the animation when you can get them to talk again. So you have to wait like a moment. Oh no, not again. We've got to kill Soph before he kills me. Oh, goddamn elephant. It's quite janky when you're trying to get them to move to a certain location. how it goes now. Hopefully the elephant knowing I'll get distracted. Still problematic. a lot of lives, didn't I? I got nothing to spend on. Could always buy this guy just for the earth damage. worth losing the uh the one gold income. That should be an even fight. Is this going to explode as soon as it reaches the middle? Oh, he's going down. I want him to kick Soap's ass. get the light guy. I could get this one. 12 though. Fossil. 
Hmm. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how this one works, but it says it equalizes health percentage of all units within target effect. So I don't really want them standing right next to each other. Because he might do it like here and the other one might do it here. So it's 105 health on this. I think it just removes from the actual health, so if it was to remove like 20% out of 100 health, it would just yeah, it would take the 20 health off. But it'd still show it out of 100 fire, so it'd be like, oh sorry, 80 out of 100. Oh, so has been defeated! I managed to stop him from making his comeback. Ha ha! The best player in the world! The god of all gods, the most humble, genuine, best person in the universe has won. Once again, I am too good at life as well as everything that involves life, which is including this game. There we go. Styler has to take all of my opinions on board now, all of my criticisms of the map. And if you've got any criticism of the map, then feel free to type them in the chat as well. And I'll appreciate that. Thumbs up, subscribe to support this humble, amazing person called Witty Warcraft. <laughs> Looks like Stylo might be retiring to PvE. If you do PvE, everyone can enjoy it. If you do, or at least the vast majority. If you do PvP, people will not, as you saw, like... You had Rami getting really angry, and he's one of our regulars, but you could see it with the regular, like the, the people that aren't our regulars, like, they might have left because, you know, most people do within the first few minutes, but this guy was complete proof of that, I'm winning, so I'm going to stay in the game, oh, now I'm losing, so I'm going to lo leave the game, sort of thing, like, there's a kind of a jump, and he probably didn't feel like he necessarily had as much control over whether he was winning or losing. But you know who did win? Me! Because I'm too fucking good.